on you guys this is your boy Wayne we back with tricks of the trade uh, so we got some parts in for the GTO of course um, we got more coming so we are going to be showing content of an AC compressor rebuild technically um, or something like that I will get more facts on it um, so for today we are building a cat that we have a basically a tree house type deal um so we're gonna be doing some video of that today um like i said there is a video of the gto coming up so we will get that out um but for today we're building a cat house so let me show you exactly what's going on all right first first here's like the rebuild kit so we got that coming that's on the gto Have some primer and a little bit of hardener, so we are going to be spraying it. But that's what we're going for. Here's what we got. <laughs> so, here we go. Just little braces, nothing crazy. We made them different sh sizes, you know, because a tree is not going to be all the way perfectly. So, even the legs are different. You know, you got a decent leg here, you got a little stumpy leg, you got a long leg and a long leg. So, we're putting the house on this side. Um, and we can also build this for anybody else that would want one. Um, just message me and we'll sit down and we'll talk and, uh, let you know everything and, you know, we'll make it as easy as possible to assemble when we ship it. So, we can talk about that if anybody would like one when I get done with it and you can see the finished product. So, that's going to be really cool. Um... Let's go ahead and see what he's doing. And this is my buddy Mark, by the way. This is this is the guy, Mark, that I was telling y'all about that owns all these cars. So we're gonna be going out there and see how it goes. Let's see what he's doing. I believe he's cutting two more support for this right here. Pretty awesome. Like I said, this is what we're going for, of course. And we do have carpet on the way. Uh, we are going to wrap it in carpet so that it resembles a tree. This is a very spoiled cat. <laughs> Oh yeah, got to be able to hop all the way up there. Got so much straight. Mm. 
It works. Oh shit. Damn it. I'm trying to put it out. You're trying to kick it. I'm trying to kick it. My bad. We're going to edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> No. Once we connect the bottoms, it ain't going nowhere. I think let's build the house next. And I was thinking, you know, what's that bucket works good as a purse to see. So that was my idea to have it like that so you could hook it. That gives that more support. Sticks out too far, though, don't it? We can put a leg down here at the back. What's that? You talking about having like a perch come off about that size? Yep. <clears throat> I think about the, something big enough for the cat to lay on. Should have decided to want to use that perch. So we one. And the birdhouse needs to be on the same side as the lower perch, right? Then you got another perch across of it, which would be higher than that. So if this, if you do have a perch come out about this size, you can even put a, an angle. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And then. The wrap carpet look like part of a branch. Yeah. Out. And you gotta come so far out and that'll hold it perfectly. That'd be awesome. We need more support. <laughs> I don't think I got that level. It's a tree. That's, that's... This part should, yeah, this should be up more on this side. Trees are lumpy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but the inner structure don't, don't need to be lumpy. It'll be fine once we, uh, get bottom support on it. We can perfect it later. Everything's going to start adding more strength to it. Oh, yeah. The more we put on it, we're going to have all kinds of perches and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a cool cat house tree. Tree I cat house. We could use this right here. Pipe this way. For the limbs. Coming out to hold the perch and we could use a smaller pipe. Yeah, some of the perches don't need a big heavy duty pipe. No. It's going to be a cat. It's not like a dog's getting up there. Like 20 pounds at the most. Yeah, not even. And that's a fat cat at 20 pounds, by the way. All right, so we got that. Let's build a... Um, and if we have to, if we think the cat's having problems getting up to the hole, it's you know, always nice to hole out. Yeah, that should be fine, though, for if a cat was going to jump from here to say we need to make some kind of little perch, maybe. I don't... Or are you just going to leave like this open? Like a little divot. There's only a couple damn nails in each one of them. Because. So pop them out. Set you guys down. Brandy's going to sit down to the cat the fucking house. That's what you're going to be doing that weekend here. Oh, shit. Get it. I'm going to look out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't going to kill herself. Did she do that to you? Huh? She did that to you? No. Oh. I'm yeah, she did. Damn it, winner. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to edit all that shit out. <laughs> Nobody gets about to be closer, I reckon, so now. <laughs> That'll bounce it out too if you think about it because I got that thick house of carpet that's going to be on the outside. I think about putting a little LED light up there. Can I sit on it? See how stable it is? Yes. Oh, shit. Here. I'm getting a bunch of Oh, this is it. Yeah, yeah, that's a step. I'll hold it for you. Go ahead. <laughs>
cut some stuff. Well, it's starting to look like we're getting somewhere on. It does. So, do you want to move the perch? Because that's going to add balance for the cat house, you know? By adding this perch over here. Well, there's going to be four of them, though. One comes out the other side up here. One comes off here. One comes out over the house. Okay, so you got no, I see. So you basically, as long as I base, it comes out at least this far. When the cat gets out here, it can't tip it. I think we build the house next. And then we might just go ahead and duplicate that. One more time for the other side, and then whatever we think would be good for the top. They could be square, round, figure eight, acorn, apple. It don't matter what shape they are. All right. I put them green, they look like a little green leaf or something up there. All right, let's do the cat house. I think we should just go with this. It puts it being that wide, that wide at the bottom, that wide on the side. It's probably not bad. And cut it down smaller. Yeah. What do you think? Go smaller. I don't know. From you're talking about from like right here to here anyway. Nah. For a perch. This is the front of it. This is the front door. Front door's right here. This is the way the thing's going. The walls are going to go out, and then the roof is going to go up. All right. That should be like literally probably the perfect size. tall and skinny right now, but time you get a house on it, and then you got something wrapped. I mean, it looked really skinny before. It don't look that skinny. It's taking some of the bulkiness away from it. The more shit we do to it. If you noticed. What's up? You want to play with that ball? All right. So My fat thing, boy. If we set that piece up there and say, oh, that's way too big, then we just cut it down. Cut it down and make it Like I said, this is for a very spoiled cat that we have, <laughs> by the way.
kind of like that. Here's the door. Bam. You know, the cat's going to grow to that, you know, pretty big, probably. Yeah, so. Nah, because I rubbed that one out. I think that'd be perfect sizing, honestly. I mean, it's our first one, so, I mean, you know, it ain't got to be perfect. We can always perfect it later if we think it's too big. I don't know. I kind of like that size. I mean, yeah, take a look at that. I kind of... I kind of like that. And then a little perch down there. And we'll get one on the other side, of course. And we ain't got to make it very deep, so... And aren't we going to put it on this side? Because that's got the longest legs. But still, that's a great start. I mean, I kind of like that, though. Think about it. When the door gets cut out, you know, the roof's going to be right there all the way. She ain't got to have that much room inside if she's just going to be laying. That's a, You know, you can come out. You can come out that damn far. I want it to come out past the... You could. It's a big-ass house. <laughs> I ain't too big. I don't know. I kind of like that. Hang like some Christmas lights in it, you know, kind of <laughs> light it up. Are you going to have like a hole on the inside of the house for her to go straight down if she wanted? Yeah, make the perch. Make this thing come out about in here somewhere maybe. Then at the back corner, have a hole back in here where she can come up from the inside, but I think it's too big. I think it's way too damn big. I mean, you can always cut the roof to like here. It won't be so tall. Just cut it at an angle right there. Bring that roof down. Cause hell, you can even make the roof almost level with the hole. Cause she ain't gonna be what's so big. It's just a cat. And you gotta make a huge, huge house. So. We just took an inch off right here. We could definitely do that too. There you go. What about we cut about another half inch off of it? Yeah, you could. Will you shut up? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, about right here. It's just gonna be the same height. It just brings the sides in a little bit, so it's not. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. That'd be perfect. Map management. Thank you. 